Here in Reno, the biggest little city in the world and a state that loves to gamble, it appears that Bernie Sanders is the big winner today in the Nevada caucus. I think that Bernie Sanders is good for that because he can represent our interests. At high school gymnasiums like this one in Reno, Sanders supporters came out strong in the Silver State, despite an entourage of Californians who knocked on doors for other candidates. Finding anybody who may be on the fence, undecided, thinking about maybe switching when realignment comes, and really getting people to support Tom so he gets some delegates in the end. But at this precinct in Reno, Tom Steyer had little support. Tom Steyer has zero in-person caucus participants, plus two early votes where this candidate was their first choice. This gives them a total of two caucus participants. This group is not viable. Candidates polling less than 15% of the vote are considered non-viable, and their supporters are eligible to regroup with another candidate for a second vote, known as realignment. But at this precinct, Sanders won big there, too. Bernie Sanders has 50 votes in the final alignment. At this precinct, candidates like Pete Buttigieg were shut out in the second round of voting, and that was frustrating for supporters like Eric Larson. You know, I understand the process behind it, so I'm not like against the caucus or anything. But if you know, if it was Burger King, if I had it my way, uh, I would have, I would have just showed up in a ballot box, voted for Pete, and walked out of here. The final tallies were registered on something called a caucus calculator, designed to make sure all the numbers are correct. So there's going to be no caucus chaos like in Iowa. No, we hope not. We hope not. So we've been doing this for many years. 36 delegates are up for grabs in today's voting. That's less than 1% of the total. But it does give Bernie Sanders big momentum leading up to the California primary on March 3rd. In Reno, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.